Hi everyone and welcome back to Course for Self-Care. If you're new here, a huge welcome to you and thank you for joining me. I do hope you are enjoying this series that I'm doing on my deep dive on childhood trauma. Today I'll be doing um, a little bit of an easier subject, still childhood trauma, but this one everyone can really use whether you've experienced trauma or not it's about being self-aware and i think that is just so important for any person to have in their life because it can help you in so many ways so let's get on to this subject in all of us in our hearts there's love and light that we must realize we need to feel we need to use this warmth that could make bright our lives in all of us in our hearts there's love and light that we must realize mm. it's winter and my lips are so dry so yeah, thank you Lady Boho for my lip gloss, it actually really helps and so thank you. Uh, yeah, today's video will be about being self-aware as I said and it is such an important subject for anyone in their lives. Um, being self-aware can help you with childhood trauma of course um, it helps you be more aware of your emotions and helps you through your triggers but it also helps everyone um, it can just help you to be a better person really so I do hope that you find these next few steps really help and well, I'll give you a little bit of homework at the end. So, yeah, let me know on my socials if that homework helped you. So, self-awareness is the ability to clearly and objectively be able to look at yourself. And if we are able to do that, we are able to take strategies and use them for our own healing and our own self-development. You can actually call self-awareness mindfulness of yourself and not just general mindfulness. So it's a strategy to help you with anxious moments too. When you've experienced trauma, childhood trauma, or are just simply going through life, it's good to do, take a step back and look at yourself like a fly on the wall. Why is this a good thing? It's good for, of course, for your own healing, for your own self-development, and for growth so if you look at yourself for instance and you say hmm that was a little negative wasn't it and you decide well that's not actually the kind of person I want to be so you decide to put steps in place to help yourself grow and change so that you can do better in the future also, you can be mindful in a sense of how you want to treat yourself. You know, when you've experienced childhood trauma, you tend to go to the negative side of things and you tend to mm, beat yourself up a bit. So, 
being more self-aware of what is going on in your mind can really help you when you beat yourself up and there's that negative inner dialogue it can also help yourself when you're triggered and you turn around and you find "Mm, well that person triggered me and you being self-aware and mindful of how you are feeling can say well I think I may should maybe speak to someone or I should maybe set a boundary here or what is a better way to handle this maybe I should take a step back so that I can mindfully handle the situation better and actually this is something that I've done very recently I had somebody who was triggering me really badly and on my part it's no bad reflection on me I decided um, to take a step back I also decided not to engage um, because honestly if I engaged she would have just engaged again and it would have ended up in a nasty argument so by being self-aware I knew in myself when it was time to step back And I also knew when it was time to speak to somebody about what I was experiencing. And between speaking to a therapist and speaking to my family, I made the decision to step back. Now, that decision was a hard decision. But if I look back on the last few weeks, making that decision was far better for me because of that person triggering me. So that was something that I found really important in my life and I thought doing this video right now was really important for you too. So just by that little story it shows us that being mindful of ourselves and being self-aware will help us regulate our emotions and that is so important so let me just use this little you know it's a recent experience as an example so if for example I wasn't more mindful of how I was feeling I could have stepped in I could have engaged and I could have let it spiral yes personally my emotions did spiral and that was not a bad thing why wasn't it a bad thing because it's okay to feel your feelings and I think that is so important using this same story once again Being self-aware also tells you internally when to speak out. Now, gosh, speaking out is so difficult. Reaching out for help is so difficult. But for me, I kind of reached out in our little group um, that yeah I spoke out I felt I needed to and I did and I also spoke to the person admining the situation admining our little community and um you know you just know when to you know not go further you know when it's time to take a step back so Yeah, I think speaking to our little community leader and speaking out in our community 
was really important and although it was kind of hard to to step out and speak out for me because from my childhood I was taught to more sweep things under the rug and so being aware of how I feel and actually saying to people look you hurt my feelings that is okay also in a sense of being in a family and being in a community I think it is so important to be able to say look I am not doing well right now and I need to take a step back People can't guess what you're feeling. So to be able to say that is such a huge move for somebody who is not used to saying it at all. Somebody who's not used to reaching out. So yes, if you do need help, it's okay to reach out. It's okay to feel your feelings. And it's okay to have feelings, but it's also okay to, how do I, I say it? Um, you don't want to suppress your feelings at all for anyone, um, but doing it in a, a way that doesn't hurt anybody further is really really important um what actually happened to me in this little story the person kind of apologized but they apologized in a way that actually gaslit me further and i think that is such an important thing to be very self-aware of what you're saying and how you are saying it that you don't actually hurt a person further and it's important to know that an apology means changed actions and it also means that when you use your words to apologize that you do it in such a way that you actually apologize and that the person receiving the apology feels that they have been apologized to not that they actually feel worse for feeling bad in the first place so it all plays into being self-aware and I hope that I am making sense by saying this to you by being self-aware of your role in relationships can actually give you more meaningful relationships it can be you being more self-aware of how the other person is feeling and I find that really wonderful um, I have always been really self-aware but not self-aware that's the wrong word aware of how other people are feeling and it is actually nice for me now that I am more mindful being mindful of or aware of how other people have been kinder to me because I've been kinder to myself and I think in your healing journey when you start to go through that phase of being kinder to yourself you only accept others who are kinder to you and that kind of attracts healthier relationships and these are subjects that I'll be broaching in the future of having healthier relationships all in all being more self-aware just allows you to learn more about yourself too um, being in a situation like I was especially with um, a parent who wanted to mold me after herself I had to learn 
what I really liked and I've spoken about that in videos before um, I had to learn how I like my hair what I like to wear um, a lot of what I like to eat um, flavors that I actually enjoyed um, It even went deeper to my emotional level and you know childhood trauma makes you feel like you're not allowed to feel and that you must behave differently because of other people or because other feel people other people feel bad that you aren't allowed to feel bad as well and you actually are your feelings are as important as anybody else's if somebody else is going through a bad time you are allowed to feel bad for them and there are things that impact a lot of people for your homework I would like you to journal about yourself. If you're not okay with journaling, maybe just have a little bit of time of self-reflection. Writing really helps you become more aware and intentional, allowing you to identify, clarify and accept your thoughts and feelings. It helps you to discover what you want, what you value, and what works for you, or the opposite, what doesn't work for you. So I'd like you to reflect or write about the following, but prefer preferably write about it. Write about things that you are good at and things that you can improve on. Write about your accomplishments, that things that you are proud of. Write about what makes you happy and what makes you tick. Your beliefs and values, what's important to you right now. Your passions and desires, and then your goals. Once you've done your homework, either comment back at the video again on what you thought of the homework, maybe share some of your goals or something that makes you tick. Share what you feel like sharing in the comments below. I'd really love to hear how that homework helped you. And if not on the video, share on my socials. I am Pause for Self Care on now threads instagram tiktok um facebook and twitter and i'll be doing a little post i will also be doing a blog post with a little bit of extra information on this subject so please do look look out on pause for self-care on wordpress my link is always in the description to the video so Click on that and see the extra info. There might be a little few extra homework tips there. So yeah, go and have a look. Maybe there's things there that will help you with your self-reflection and your healing journey. Thank you so much for joining us today. And yeah, once again, if you made it this far, thank you. I appreciate you please do leave a comment to the ogs and the newbies always remember to pause for self-care